All right, this order is definitely going. This is the order Zaxby's <clears throat> insulated bag. This order going to the third floor, boys. I'm gonna get my steps in with this one. Yeah. yeah. This is so pretty, man. What's poppin', y'all? What's poppin'? We back. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's hoodie weather out here. It is hoodie weather out here. Officially upon us. When I woke up today, it was 37 degrees. But now. It's 59. I woke up earlier. My wife and I had a dentist appointment, hit the dentist, got these teeth cleaned. Well, the teeth that I got left, because I had teeth pulled in the back, on this side, on the bottom. So yeah, I need a lot of dentistry done. I need to get two more teeth removed, and I also need to get a crown. So y'all, man, take care of your teeth, man. What can I say, you know? I thought I was taking care of my teeth, but listen, Linda, Listen, Linda, you got this. But anywho, about to start the day. Just logged on to Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Instacart. Uh, my Instacart rating has dropped from like a 4.93 to a 4.88. And as you guys know or may not know that may be a good thing because normally when my rating is lower I usually get better batches which is crazy to me you know the thing with having a higher rating is I usually see more batches but the batches that I see are not always good batches when I have a lower rating I don't see as much batches but I get my highest batches with a lower rating so you know, this is something that's going on around YouTube. A lot of gig workers think that there is like a five star curse. And there is some type of validity to that because when I did have five stars, it's just a weird phenomenon. Like you get five stars and you're thinking that, yeah, I'm gonna see all the badges, all the big badges. Cause that's the thing. You don't, no one really cares about seeing all the badges. You want all the big badges, but it just never works out that way. And I see that that's happening to other people as well. So who knows, man? I think that, you know, for Instacart, it wouldn't make sense for them to set up a system where we care about our shopper rating because that is, you know, customer service. They want the customer to have a great experience. And how would they incentivize us for providing the customer with a great experience other than pay because their base pay is only seven dollars so there's really no you know incentive to offer you know a great customer facing experience you know other than you know the tip that the customer provides so you know if you take an order and the customer provides a good tip then maybe you might go the extra mile but if they tell you that your rate, your customer ratings matter in the grander scheme of things, you know, the ac the access to the batches that you actually see, then that would incentivize the shopper to deliver great customer service no matter what on every batch that they take, even if the batch is a smaller batch and it doesn't have a huge tip on it. So I just think from a business standpoint on Instacart and it only makes sense. Like that's smart. Like, yeah, give them a reason for wanting to serve the customer better make them feel that that they have a higher customer rating then they'll see more batches and all that stuff i really don't think that's how the algorithm works but i don't know that's definitely above my pay grade because i'm just a shopper like many of you so yeah you know who knows the algorithm can be ever changing but what i do know light this person wasn't going and the person behind me was talking and honking that person but yeah but what i do know from my own anecdotal experience that when my rating has been low i've gotten big batches so let's see if i get a big batch today maybe i will maybe i won't but yeah is that 4.88 it has been lower than that the lowest that it's ever been is probably like whew, it's been low boy it's been like um 
4.64 is the lowest that it's ever been and that's when I got my biggest badge when it was 4.64 so yo it is what it is you know what I mean we gonna see what's crack lacking for the day going to the dentist put some new fervor in my hustle because yeah we got to be spending our ducats to get both of our teeth done my wife's teeth is way better than mine she need way less work but that's to be expected your boy need a lot of work so we're gonna be out here grinding hustling like usual because yeah the bills gotta get paid man i hope you guys are having a good what today is thursday this probably gonna drop on friday no not probably it will drop on friday so i hope you guys had a good thursday in having a good friday or whatever day when you view this i'm gonna holler back all right all right all right we just picked up our second door dash of the day the first one was five dollars going like 1.8 miles this is six dollars and fifty cents going about 3.1 miles but it's taking me back to where i started so it's a good order regardless even if it wasn't taking me back there i would have took it because possibly there's a hidden tip possibly we're gonna pray to the gods and there's a hidden tip but even if it's not it's not too bad 650 for three and a half miles it's not bad at all i did accept a, a instacart shop only while i was taking the doordash but i decided <clears throat> i decided to cancel the instacart because usually when i do that something happens with the doordash order and it just puts me in a bind so and the DoorDash order, something did happen because it was to a hospital, but a certain department of the hospital. So it was a little, you know what I mean? A little delay there. So I'm glad I dropped that Instacart order uh, before they just took it away from me. But we on our way, I'm rambling. We want, we're about to drop off this order, which is a firehouse sub. Like again, like I said before, $6.50, three and a half miles. Let's go drop this thing off. All right, soon as we dropped off that DoorDash order, we immediately, I'm talking about as soon as I hit complete delivery on that thing, we got an Uber Eats order, three miles, Taco Bell, $12.89. That's good, y'all. We can, we, that's good, y'all. That is great. My wife cooked me breakfast before I left. It was good, y'all. It was good. Turkey bacon, maple sausage, three sweet potato pancakes, and eggs. Yeesh! Yo, I'm still full, so excuse me. But anyway, that order did end up being a hidden tip. It was only 50 cents, but hey, we'll take it however we can. Why DoorDash hides the tips? Nobody knows. We don't know how this is even legal, but they have been doing this for a very long time. And uh, I guess it's legal. I mean, what can you say? But it ended up being $7 instead of six fifty, So 50 cents bump, which is, I mean, hey, it's okay. I mean, I ain't mad at it. By the time I pick up this uh, Uber Eats, let me pull up the window. By the time I pick up this Uber Eats and deliver that, We'll probably be like at twenty dollars for the hour, which is you know, I no complaints from your boy. Let's hope the day continues to keep this momentum, and even if it doesn't, be grateful for whatever we get. Let's go get this Taco Bell. Let's go drop this thing off, and let's keep the party rolling. All right, we got the package. We got the package. Taco Bell is secured. Let's go drop this thing off. We got another order, Uber Eats for Subway. Uh, $7 and some change going 0.7 miles. Let's go deliver this thing. All right, we just dropped off that Subway. We went to the Publix parking lot to post up. You know, maybe get out, get my steps in. And Wendy's, not Wendy's. Wendy's is where I'm going. Uber Eats showing they ass today. Yeah, Wendy's showing they ass, I mean, Uber Eats showing the ass today. We got a Wendy's going three miles for $13. Let's get it popping 10. 
Let's go pick up this Wendy's. I usually hate going to Wendy's because they take forever. But $13 for three miles, I can't complain. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It is a lot of food. It's about eight items. You know what I mean? But it's all good. It's all good. We're going to wait. We'll drop this thing off. All right, we was posted up, chilling in the parking lot. And we got a uh, Publix parking lot. And we got a Uber Eats. Uh... $13 I believe or maybe $12 I don't know I'll put it somewhere up there on the screen but it's like $13 to $12 or maybe $10 I don't know it was double digits so it was like $10, $11, $12 who knows but it's going 0 0.8 miles it's a order and pay delivery so for order and pay delivery you have to order it this is typically from my personal experience usually at Chinese restaurants you have to order and pay with your Uber Plus card. Um, you get this in the mail. I have cards for all of the um, all of the gig work apps. This is my Uber one. This is my DoorDash one. If you want to do a shop and deliver on DoorDash, and I also have my Grubhub one. So that's the one for Grubhub, DoorDash. And Uber Eats, and of course, I have my ship card for shipped and my Instacart card for shopping for Instacart, of course. So, yeah, these are the many of many cards that I carry on a daily basis if I ever get any of these orders. But yeah, it's a uh, order and deliver. So, the best thing with these, if you can, and this has it has happened to me in the past when the gig gods have blessed me is I would order this and then I would get another order in between because this is gonna take 15 to 20 minutes to prepare. I would get like a DoorDash in between that's going like a mile for $6, then you double up. So then that will get you like a rate of maybe like, you know, 20 to $25 for that hour for, for waiting. So we wait in, we just ordered it so we gotta give them some time to make it. So yeah, we just ordered it. We still post up in the parking lot. If I can either get a DoorDash order right now in between or a Instacart shop only. And we got an Instacart coming through right now. So let's see. All right, after that Uber Eats, we got an Instacart order, 40 items or units. Maybe 20 items, 40 units. Going 0 0.8 miles for $16. Let's drop this off. All right, we dropped off that Instacart order. And while we was dropping that off, right when, right before I pulled up to the uh, apartment unit that the customer stayed at, but it was only one floor. So thank God it wasn't apartment units with several floors. Uh, we got a DoorDash order from Zaxby's that was like maybe 0.2 miles away from the drop off. Uh, Instacart spot, $6.50 going one mile 1.8 miles so we picked the next Zaspies. we on our way to drop that off now man yo it was cold all day and it started getting hot it started getting hot so i had to come up out of the hoodie so it was only half day hoodie season it ain't full day hoodie season yet and the mess up thing is i have on a white shirt and i bought this hoodie yesterday but i should have washed it duh because now when I took off the white shirt, I got a bunch of red lint over this white shirt. I got a lint roll on. I'm gonna try to get most of it off. I know people looking at me crazy like, yo, why is this gonna have red lint on this white shirt? But it's all good. We are gonna drop this order off. Holla back. Silver lining. That order ended up being $8 instead of $6.50. Hidden tip, $1.50. No, is that $1.50? Yeah, $1.50 hidden tip. So. Be mindful of those $6.50 orders because a lot of times they have hidden tips. Look all the red lint. I told y'all, red lint. Ah, from, this, from that Nike hoodie that I was wearing earlier. All over my white t-shirt. Let's rip this layout. out. Let's roll some more. Wait, wait, wait. You mean to tell me I had this red patch of hair in the back of my head 
Lent and nobody told me, I was really out here looking like a full-fledged maniac. I don't know if y'all can see. Red lamp. Ooh. See? Red lamp. Trying to get as much off as I can. Ooh, a lot down here. Jeez. It's a lot. I'm gonna just have to look like a maniac. I don't think I'll be able to get it all. That's some more. Ah, let's see. If I rip off this layer and start clean. See how much I can get off. Uh, okay. It's starting to look decent. How's my back looking? Sheesh. I'm not gonna be able to get that back. My back just gonna have to look crazy, y'all. So how much we got? So a little bit less. Please, if I can get. Yeah. Well, we got as much as we can. <sighs> gotta wash my hoodies before I wear them, man. I bought it yesterday. I took my wife shopping because of her birthday. She didn't really get too much, too many things for herself, though. But I got a couple things for myself. And yeah. I gotta wash these hoodies before I wear them, man. I played myself. All right, we got another order, a DoorDash. Uh, I'm, I honestly do not remember the miles. I think it was like four miles. Paying six fifty or seven fifty. What? I forgot, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm gonna put how much it was up on the screen, though, so you'll see how much it was. But yeah, going four miles. I took it because I know this place is fairly fast, and they were as soon as I. Accepted the order. I was in the parking lot, went out, and the order was ready. So this should take no more than 10 minutes to pick up and deliver. Um, it is 5.16, so rush hour is about to begin. But currently, there's no traffic on the road, which is great for me. Um, yeah, so let's go drop this thing off. Let's keep the body rolling. Let's get, keep the momentum. I mean, I am maybe somewhere close to $100. Maybe somewhere close to $100, but we can see what we can get and grateful for everything that we've gotten so far, nevertheless. Let's go drop this thing off, man. What's poppin' y'all? We back at the crib. We editing this video. <laughs> it is late. I'm just shooting this outro video right quick. Um, we ended up making around $130 or something like that. I'm gonna put it up in the screen somewhere. And we ended up doing about three more orders since that last clip and then I brought my ass home. You know what I'm saying? It was time to chill. It got nighttime and it's kind of hard to deliver at nighttime because it's super dark. I did do a few deliveries at night, nighttime, but um, yeah, it was an okay day. You know what I mean? Grateful, you know what I mean? For what we made, made out with, with the day. So I'm going to post all of the orders that I did up on the screen after that I don't have video clips of. And I'm ready to take it down, man. Y'all see I'm in my wife beater. Y'all don't see I'm in my boxes. I'm ready to take it to the bed. You know what I mean? My wife is already sleeping. It's almost it's 12.55. I can't even show my watch. 12.55. Hey, focus this thing. 12.55. So, no, yeah, 12.55, almost 1 o'clock. So, we're going to take it in. If you made it to the end of this video, thanks for watching. 
And if you didn't make it to the end of this video, thanks for not watching. Y'all stay blessed. Peace. Yeah.